hello viewers in today's class we are going to take up some uh, integrals involving dirac delta function right so here we'll solve some uh, problems uh, related to uh, the famous uh, dirac delta function so here we have the first problem now here we have to integrate uh, this function from 0 to pi so let us uh, first uh, denote this integral by i and let us take the definition of uh, Dirac delta function to evaluate this uh, function right so we know that if we have to integrate from a to b uh, fx delta of uh, x minus x naught dx then by the property of uh, Dirac delta function uh, we know that uh, this integral is equal to f of x naught when x naught lies between a and b and the value of this uh, integral is zero otherwise right now according to this definition the delta function that is x minus uh, x naught it takes the value of this function at x equal to x naught right and provided uh, x naught uh, lies between a and b right so here we have the point a here we have the point b and here we have the point x naught right so the value of this integral from a to b is equal to the value of this function at x naught right so this is the value of this integral right so this is uh, delta of x minus x naught which is actually equal to the value of the function f of x at x equal to x naught right so let us apply this uh, definition uh, to evaluate this integral so here uh, let us take this function as f of x right so this integral i now becomes uh, 0 to pi and here we have f of x and here we have the function uh, delta of x minus uh, pi by 2 dx right now here we see that if we compare uh, this form with this form then we see that the value of a is 0 and the value of b is pi and this x naught is pi by 2 right and pi by 2 it lies uh, in the interval uh, 0 to pi right so according to this definition uh, the value of this integral uh, must be equal to f of x naught and what is x naught so x naught is equal to pi by 2 so the value of this integral is equal to the value of this function at x equal to pi by 2 and what is f of x f of x is 3x square sin x so here we have 3x square uh, sin x and we have to evaluate the value of this function at x equal to pi by 2 so substituting the value here uh, we'll get 3 times uh, pi by 2 uh, square sin pi by 2 right so this becomes uh, 3 times pi square over 4 and here the value of sin pi by 2 is 1 so this is 3 pi square over 4 so the value of uh, this integral is 3 pi square over 4 
now uh, let us take uh, the second problem here we have to uh, integrate this function uh, from minus 1 to 4 so let us call this integral as i right now here uh, we have uh, the delta function as t minus 5 here then t square plus 2t minus 5 now if we compare uh, this form with this one then we see that uh, this is uh, delta of uh, t minus t naught right so here the variable is uh, t instead of uh, x and here uh, this function uh, may be taken as f of t right so if we compare uh, these two then uh, we see that t naught is equal to 5 right and uh, the limits are from uh, minus 1 to 4 right so here uh, we have minus 1 and here we have 4 and we see that t naught is equal to 5 and uh, t naught lies uh, beyond uh, this interval right so here we have uh, a 5 and uh, 5 uh, does not belongs to the interval uh, minus 1 comma 4 right so according to this definition the integral of this function is f of x naught whenever x naught lies between a and b and here uh, this t naught that is equal to 5 uh, it does not uh, belong to the interval uh, minus 1 comma 4 so here we have to use uh, this value right so the value of this integral uh, is 0 right because the point uh, at which we have to evaluate the delta function uh, does not belong to uh, this uh, interval uh, minus 1 to 4 so by this definition the value of this integral is uh, 0 right now suppose uh, instead of uh, delta of t minus 5 if uh, we have a delta of t minus 2 uh, then we can evaluate this integral uh, by using this uh, result right so let us call this integral as i and here again uh, if we take uh, this as delta of t minus t naught and this is taken as f of t then we see that the value of uh, t naught is equal to 2 and uh, this 2 lies between uh, minus 1 and 4 right so t naught equal to 2 it belongs to the interval minus 1 comma 4 and 2 is somewhere here then the value of this integral uh, can be evaluated by using this result so in this case the value of this uh, integral is equal to f of t naught right so here the delta function uh, takes or it assumes the value of this function at t naught right so the value of t naught is 2 so we have here f of 2 and f of t is t square plus 2t minus 5 and we have to uh, evaluate this uh, function at uh, t equal to uh, 2 right and this is 2 square this is 2 times 2 minus 5 so this is 4 plus 4 minus 5 that is 8 minus 5 3 right so the value of this integral is 3 okay so here we see that uh, this uh, uh, t not equal to 2 it lies between minus 1 and 4 so uh, here we'll have the delta function right so here we'll have delta of t minus 2 and 
the value of this integral is 3 and in that case uh, here the value of t naught was 5 and 5 uh, does not belong to uh, this interval so the value of this integral is 0. Now let us take this third problem here we have to uh, evaluate uh, t times e raised to t delta of t plus 1 dt from minus 5 to 3. So let us call this integral as i. Right? Now here again uh, we will make use of uh, this result and uh, let us take this function as uh, f of t and here also the variable is t instead of x and uh, let us uh, take this uh, as delta of uh, t minus t naught right and if we compare uh, these two then we see that the value of t naught is equal to uh, minus 1 and the limits of uh, the integration are from minus 5 to 3 and here we have uh, minus 5 here we have 3 and uh, here we have minus 1 right okay so now, uh, according to uh, this definition, we see that uh, this t naught equal to minus 1, it lies uh, in the interval minus 5 uh, to 3, that is, it belongs to the interval minus 5 comma 3. So the uh, Dirac delta function, that is uh, delta of t plus 1, uh, it assumes the value here right so delta of t plus 1 uh, it takes the value here right so according to this definition uh, the value of this integral must be equal to uh, f of t naught right f of x naught when x naught uh, it lies between a and b right so this is a this is b and this is x naught so here we have the variable t so we denote it by t naught so f of t naught is f of minus 1 and the function f of t is t times e raised to t and we have to evaluate this at t equal to minus 1 right so we have minus 1 here here e raised to minus 1 so this is minus uh, 1 over e right so the value of this integral is minus uh, 1 over e now let us take this uh, problem number 4 so here uh, we have to integrate this function from 0 to 10 and the function is e raised to 2x minus 7 plus 4 and delta of x plus 3 dx right so let us call this integral as i and again we'll make use of this rule so here uh, this function uh, can be taken as f of x and here uh, we have delta of x plus 3 which can be taken as delta of x minus x naught and if we compare then we see that the value of x naught is minus 3 right and the interval here is given as 0 to 10 and here we see that a minus 3 this minus 3 it does not uh, belong uh, it does not belongs to the interval uh, 0 comma 10 right so as per this definition when x naught lies between a and b then the value of this uh, integral is equal to the value of this function at x equal to x naught but when x naught uh, does not lie between this interval then the value of this integral is 0 and uh, here we have the same case because minus 3 it lies uh, somewhere here and uh, this is uh, this minus 3 it does not belongs to uh, this uh, interval so therefore uh, we can uh, directly write the value of this uh, integral as 0 right